Welcome, Murfreesboro. My name is Allison. I'm the wellness coordinator at SportsCon with Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation. I'm bringing you a total body workout today with weights. However, you don't have to have weights if you don't have them. Um, you can also use anything around your house that you can safely hold if you want to use weight alternatives. It's a weighted class, but it's, you know, I'm not going to hold you to it. Now this class, we get straight into it. There is no warm up, there is no cool down. However, we do have a warm up video and a cool down video separate from these that I highly encourage you to do before and after this video, unless you are already have warmed up doing something else, which would be great. I mean, if you've done that, awesome. Hope you have done that. So we're gonna get right into it, short, sweet, to the point. As always, however, don't do anything to hurt yourself. If I ask you to do something that a doctor or a um, PT or any type of medical professional has told you not to do, don't do it. If anything hurts when you do it, don't do it. If you can't do it and complete the movement safely, don't do it. If you don't understand the movement, don't do it. Come see me and I'll help you figure it out, okay? We're here for you, trying to help you get fit and moving, I don't wanna hurt you, okay? Listen to your body, listen to your brain, and you know, don't do anything to hurt yourself. Okay, so first exercise that we're gonna do, you need one weight, we're gonna do a goblet squat, okay? We're gonna hold the weight here like this, but really, truly, you can hold it however you want to. We're just being fancy here. A Little bit wider of a stance so that we can go a little bit deeper. Again, if you want to, it's really up to you what your mobility is and what your abilities are. So we're doing 12 repetitions and we're just gonna sit and come up. Now I like on this one because the way I'm holding the weight, I try to tap my elbows down to the top of my thighs or past my thighs. Again, it's really just what you wanna do, okay? Challenge yourself, don't hurt yourself. Okay, you wanna be able to get up gracefully I don't know, you're not on screen. Maybe you don't have to be graceful. We got four more, four. Make sure you're sitting into those glutes, however. Three, watch your knees, keep them safe. Two, and one more, down and up, good. Now we're coming into a single leg RDL, Romanian deadlift. So one weight or two, it really just kind of depends on how you feel. Now here's how I'm gonna tell you to set it up because I want you to do it right. So I want one foot behind on your toes, core is engaged, and we are going to hinge back. So your butt pushes back. We're gonna lower down to about your knee height, and then you're gonna come up. Try to get your thighs side by side. Love for you to keep that foot on the floor. That way your hips stay uh, square. So here we go. So we're gonna hinge back and pull up. One, now make a conscious effort to, to feel this in that standing leg. Three. Hips go back, stay straight. Four. Five. Keep that back and that spine straight. So only go down as far as where you can go without having your back round. We got four more. Four, push through this hip. Three, right here. Two, and one more. One, we're going right into the other one. Immediately into it, set it up, line it up, push it back. Make sure that you're hinging right at the hip, right about where the um, legs of the Barbie doll meet the, the body. It's pretty much where you're trying to bend. Back stays straight, core is engaged. There's an off chance that I've miscounted. So you might get a bonus move. Four, it's okay, it's good for you. Three, two, keep those hips square, all right? And one, awesome. We're gonna set that down. 
We're going to do our cardio, 30 seconds, easy peasy. Touch, come up, touch, come up. If that's too much for you, if you don't want to jump, you can step. Okay, if you don't want to go down, you can step. If you don't want to do anything, you can just stand here for 30 seconds. All right, you have options. So here we go, down and up. Now I'm going fairly slow because I'm on video. You can go a little bit faster if you want, and if you're able to, by all means, challenge yourself. Do what works for you, keep that core engaged. Make sure you're sitting, you got a good little squat. One more. Awesome, 30 seconds, see that wasn't so bad. We're gonna do all three of those moves again. And then we're going to continue on. So we're back to that goblet squat. Maybe you want to try deeper than you did last time. I'm talking just a little bit, giving you a chance to catch your breath. Also, there's a hair in my eye, but eh, it's part of me. Here we go. So down, one. I can't find it. Two. Three. Don't let things distract you. Four. It's just gonna live there now. Six. Make sure. Seven. You got a good little squat. Ah, found it. Four more. Four. Core's engaged. Three. Two. One more. And one. Straight into that RDL. Set it up, set it up, set it up. Everything's in alignment. Down and up. Keep that core engaged. Contract the glutes, stretch, contract up. Don't round your spine. Four more, keep that core engaged. Four, your lower belly just wants to ploop out. Three, because it, it wants your back to do all the work. Two, don't let it. One more, and one. Engage that core, switch sides. Set it up, set it up, and here we go, one. I'm going a little bit deeper, two, then maybe you should. All right, so watch your back. Three, because I can go this far, four, and keep my back neutral. Five. So find a mirror, watch your back. Stick a ruler in the back of your shirt. Your back needs to be straight. Watch your belly, I bet it's pluped. Four. Three, stay strong through that core. Two, one more, and one. Good, stand up, shake it out. Let your belly ploop for a second if you need to. All right, now tighten it back up. We've got that squat, touch. So here we go. Alternate, and uh, not alternate, modify. Modify if you need to. Good posture. We have five more seconds. One more. Yay! So we're done with that first section. Catch your breath. We're going down to the floor. We got some push-ups and some low back work. So come on down, take your time, catch your breath. We're not dropping our head, so it's not a huge big deal, but I would like for you to kind of get your heart rate under control if it isn't already. So take a moment. 
All right, that's good enough. Push-ups on your knees or on your toes. Really doesn't matter to me. You could do them on a wall if you want to. Whatever works for you. I do want you to try to do a couple the hardest that you can. So if you don't normally do them on your toes, try one on your toes. You don't improve unless you challenge yourself. So try to challenge yourself and then work your way up. So I'm going to start on my toes, but I'm going to tell you I've already done like six videos already, so I'm really kind of tired. So if I drop to my knees, that, that's, that's the reason. <laughs> no, it's just not the reason. All right, good tight core. Pull that belly in, and here we go. It's just 12. All right, your elbows go back, kind of making an arrow between your arms and your head. Push your throat towards the ceiling. Keep that core tight. As soon as that back breaks, eight. As soon as it sways, you drop down. Four, three, two, and one. A little stretch. Quite honestly, it doesn't matter how many you do. It's how well you do them. So if you need to modify, modify. Much rather you modify than just try to do them and doing them incorrectly. Obviously, as you can tell, we're on the floor now. We're gonna do a back extension with the option of doing a fly. All right, so back extension is this. Adding that fly up, squeeze, and down. It's a three count move. Press the top of your feet into the floor, tops of your legs into the floor. Contract your glutes and hold them contracted. Contract your belly, hold it contracted. Lengthen your neck. And here we go, up, squeeze, and down. Two, now your primary movement here is right at that mid back. It's right underneath the rib cage. It's not down here in the lower back. Mm -mm, that's not what you're doing. It's right underneath your rib cage. Up and then squeeze. Eight. Four more. Four. Three. Do not push up with your belly. Two. And one. Relax. The more tired you get, the more you try to push with your belly to help you get that movement. We're gonna do these again, that's what I'm telling you. Don't do it. Keep that core controlled and keep it contracted so that you don't push with your belly. We got that cardio. It's gonna be flipped so I can see the camera, uh, the top, the thing with the numbers and the thing, all right? Um, you could do this two ways. Top way is you're actually jumping in and out. Or, actually, I'm going to give you three ways. Or, okay, so you have three options to choose from. You choose whichever one you want. Ooh, let's go. Tight core, all right? That belly wants to hang. Don't let it hang. Push up through your upper back. Push your neck towards the ceiling. And I turn towards the clock, but I can't see it. We're almost there, 10 seconds. Keep it strong, keep it long, and relax. I gave you a tiny couple more seconds, so that was a strain on my neck. All right, we're gonna do all of that all over again, but I'm gonna grab my timer for that last section, just because. We're starting back with those push-ups. Catch your breath, not as big of a deal as some of the other cardio. So, you know, maybe you're not gasping. I hope you're not. Push-ups for me, please. Set it up. And, <laughs> let's be honest, go. Now, if you're on your knees, though, have a very good range of motion. 
Okay, so I'm going down pretty far. Lead with your chest, not with your nose. Keep your feet down if you're on your knees. And keep your core engaged. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Stay straight, stay strong. Woo, brief little stretch. Come to the belly. We got that back extension with the op option to do that fly. Contract, contract. Press your legs into the floor, lengthen your neck. Here we go, up, squeeze, and down. Two. That belly wants to help. Tighten that belly. Up, squeeze, and down. Four more. Four, three, two, one more, one. Awesome. Push yourself up, push yourself back, stretch, 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 stretch. We've got those plank jacks. Just go ahead and do them. The longer we put it on, the harder it's going to be. Set yourself up. Nice, tight, nice and straight. And let's go. Remember, you have options, all right? So, whatever, whatever works for you. Good, tight core. Watch that clock. And relax. Okay, I'll admit, I shut it off one second early. I really don't think anybody cares. If you do, I'm sorry. Okay, so catch breath. We're coming back up. We got biceps. We're gonna take that bicep front and out. In and out. Okay, a little combo. Not 12. Six, six sets. Good tight core. Keep the upper arm glued to your body so your shoulders don't move, your elbows don't move. They all stay glued together. So we're gonna come up and out. That's one, two, Keep your elbows down. Keep your shoulders out of it. Five. Seems really easy considering what we've done so far. And that's six right there. Look at that. Next one is another combo. So we are going to engage, come into a flat back. We're going to do a row and then a kick back. And then in and down. We're not going to come up, we're going to stay down. So tight core, lean it over, try to get parallel with your torso if you can so we can get extra work going on here. Pull it up, kick it back, in and down. Two. Now, you're going to want to throw that chest around. You're going to want to push the chest towards the floor. You're going to want to kind of Put some back into this on that kickback. Try to just stay strong and use the triceps only for that kickback. Neck is long. We got four more. Four. Three. Two more. Stay strong, stay strong. One more. Yay! Hinge up. Okay, don't roll up, hinge up. Protect that lower back. All right, we got our little cardio burst. It's gonna be super fun. 
So it's gonna be just a little skier. Almost fell forward, don't do that. Now you can jump tap, okay? Or you can just step, okay? Or you can just, you know, dance. Whatever you wanna do, find your level and go toward it. Here we go. So I do want you to pay attention because we are doing this lateral movement. Try to stop and go back, okay? So don't push out into your hip. I'm gonna stay up a little bit. Maybe that'll help you stay up a little bit. Don't go out to the side in your hip. Think about over and back with that hip. I don't wanna hurt that joint. Modify if you need. One more left and right. Yay, and we're done. Catch your breath. This would be a good time if you'd like. I'll grab you a little sip of water. Probably need it. We got one more round of this, one more grouping, and we're done. So we're about going back to those bicep curls. Pick your weights up safely. Not 100% sure if I picked mine up safely. Front to side, curl and curl. Stay in control. Now, if you don't like that outward rotation, three, it hurts some people's elbows. So don't do it. Keep your elbows down, stay in control. Five. Last one. Look, we're done with the biceps. Amazing. We're gonna take it right into that row kickback. Tighten that core, lengthen that spine, stand up tall, get parallel. Let your butt and your hamstrings hold you up. Get that neck in the right alignment. Here we go, pull, push. Two, three, four. Don't arch your back, don't sway. Try to stay parallel, keep that core engaged. Four more, please. Four. Three. I might have arched a little bit. It's okay. Two. One more. Lovely. Hinge up. Okay. Use that butt and those hamstrings. All right. We got that skier. And let's go. So remember, you can be a little bit more upright if you want. I'm doing more of just like a big leap. You can jump that buddy if you want to. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to go a little bit lower, pull in a little bit more of the glutes, keep that core engaged. I guess it also depends on how much room you have where you're at. Five more seconds. One more left and right. And relax. Woo. Going to the floor. Final round is going to be core. So the rest of the stuff we're going to do on the floor. I might have to move the mic a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and scooch it. One weight is all we're going to need for this one. So we're going to start first with a seated twist. I changed my mind. You might want to have two or a pillow or something like that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to lean here. We're going to go side to side. Now, typically when you see it, you see this going on. I don't want your butt moving. I don't want your knees moving. So a way to help you do that is to take a weight or a pillow or something and squeeze it in between your knees. 
because your knees don't want to move, all right? We don't want to be grinding um, the butt bones into the floor. We want them to stay nice and locked. We're gonna grab that weight, we're gonna come back, 12 rotations. Now, because you have locked your pelvis, you don't have as great of a range of motion as you would if you were just letting everything twist. However, you're using your core muscles better. So keep it tight. Eight, not that tight. Four, three, two, one more for me, and one. Good, come up, set those weights down. Now here's your test. If you're having to readjust your pants, you were scooting and you were moving your pelvis. Next round, try not to, okay? We don't want the pelvis involved. So now we're gonna go into a roll up with or without the weight. I'm doing it with the weight. You don't have to. The weight is gonna be here. We are going to roll up and reach and then roll down, okay? You don't have to have the weight if you don't want it. Also, if you don't want to roll up, it can be hard on some people's backs. If you don't want to roll up, you can just stay down here and do a basic regular crunch, okay? No big deal. You do what you need to do and what feels good and right for you. All right, here we go, up. Now, it's really easy to just let yourself fall down, reach up. Might as well go ahead and get some extra arm work, right? I'm going to turn a little bit. You can keep the weight a little bit closer to your body if you want. Six. Slow and controlled as you go down. Seven. Make sure you're using your core and not your back. Eight. We got four more. Nice and controlled. Four. Try to keep your feet down. Try to keep your legs stable. Three. Two. One more. One more. And one. Go ahead and down. You think you're done. I know you think that, but we're not. We got that cardio. And those of you who've been in my class before, I'm sorry. We're gonna do that triple bear. I love the triple bear. It's horrible, it hurts, but it's so good for you. So we're here, weight is over the hands. We're here, out, in, out, in, or out, in, out, in, or, okay? So you have options, it's a core, it's cardio, it's so many levels of fun. All right, let's do it, hands up, here we go. I did not bring my clock. I thought I was done. Keep your knees fairly low. All right. Oh darn, I have to stop for a second to check the time. How inconvenient. <laughs> And relax. All right, catch your breath. We got all of that one more time, then we're done. Okay, so back to that twist for me, please. I'm readjusting my socks. So I always mess with my socks. Set it up, squeeze it, hold it, bop it, twist it. All right, lean it back slightly, pull it in. Let's go left and right. Two, three, keep that core engaged. Y'all, we're almost done. It's just a little longer. Pay attention. Keep everything tight. Four more. Four, three, don't rotate. Two, that pelvis, and one. Yay! Set that weight aside. We're gonna come on down, get that roll up. Almost done. Wait, I gotta move the pack. There we go. Set it up. Watch those arms shake. 
Here we go. Curl it up. Stay in control. And down. And two. Starting to get a little hard. So modify three. Okay, so maybe don't reach up so high. Okay. Do what you need to do to make sure that you are still using your core. Five. And not cheating. Keep that core engaged. We got four more. It's just four. Come on, anybody can do four. Four. Three. One more, please. One more. One more. And one. Woo. I know you want to be it done. I know you want to be it done. One more exercise. So apparently I am losing the ability to speak coherently. We got that triple bear, 30 second. Let's go. Now remember, you can modify. You have choices, okay? What you don't have a choice in is good form. Halfway. Darn it, all these pauses I have to take to look at the clock. It's just interfering with my ability to do all of these exercises and relax. Y'all were done. You, I didn't think it was going to happen, but it did. Now listen, there is no cool down. But remember what I said at the first of the video. I do have a cool down video. You could also use the warm up video again if you need to, or go walk around the block, do another exercise video. You have lots of options. The one option I don't want you to take is just to stop cold. Keep moving for about another 10 or 15 minutes at least. Bring everything down, stretch it out, cool it out, get some water and take care of yourself. Appreciate you participating today, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.